far as you can see. Um, kind of coming to the realization that I don't have room to work on some of my stuff, so I'm trying to clear some stuff out, and I've been selling th some things on eBay. Had some luck. Actually, this intake manifold I sold already. I don't have it all listed, but um, didn't try to back then tonight. Like, all this stuff over here is just OEM shit. Um, some of the goodies here came out of this block over here, which I'll be able to sell. They're for a first generation 4G63 for like an Eclipse or Talon or Laser or an Evo. I think they came in the Galants too. But anyway, um, I have like these two heads back here. The one is a turbo head and that's uh, just used. That one I've pretty much reconditioned and made the ports a little bit bigger. Really cleaned it up a lot. You can see the difference. Um, that valve cover maybe get like 80 bucks out of that. Some random intake manifold that I got off the turbo motor. Uh, the built motor I mean. Um, this turbo manifold is a TIG welded manifold. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, these billet CP pistons and manly connecting rods I got out of there. Um, NGK performance, spark plug wires, uh, gates, racing timing belt. Um, that nice black painted timing cover. It's garbage pretty much. Uh, they'll sell it still for like 20 bucks. ARP head studs, AM, fuel rail, high volume fuel rail, uh, probably $350 valve cover, and this custom head with big valves. Um, don't know how much bigger. Custom cams, don't know like exactly, but I think they're like 262 duration or something like that. And the cam gears are adjustable, big ports. Uh, thinking about putting that around a uh, thousand, maybe come down to like 600 at the lowest on it. So I got some stuff that's like actually like pretty good. Should grab quite a bit of money. Hopefully I can get this car done. So quick update here guys. Went through all my shit and pulled out everything like every last thing here that I need for my OZ rally it's me she build so all these parts are really really dirty like really dirty so I'm gonna go around and start cleaning everything up and get that guy onto there and put it together. Get it looking nice and performing well. And then we're gonna put it into here. Into this beaut, I guess you would call it. Alright guys, what's up? It's another night out here working. I got the engine stand or the engine on the engine stand last night. Um, got a broken part here and it's kind of an issue. Show you what I got going on here. So, this is my camshaft position sensor housing. Here's my camshaft position sensor. It's just like a magnet. And then this trigger blade that connects to the can which I already unbolted is like real real bent and I think it was like running like that 
but I had a code and it would sometime misfire, so I'm sure that's probably why. Um, so, the biggest issue that I'm seeing right now is I can't find this part anywhere, but nonetheless, I'm probably gonna have to have one of those like custom made. So, I'm pretty lucky that I know um, a couple of people that I can talk to about doing that for me, but it's just another thing that I have to do with this now and it kind of sucks, but whatever. So I thought I just thought I'd show you that, but so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that like button, hit that and also remember to subscribe and always stay tuned.